हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनादर एक्साइटिंग सेशन आम यू होस्ट महेश कारिया यो वॉचिंग मी ऑन यूट्यूब ना इन दिस सेशन आम गाना टेक यू थ्रू फ्लिट so flit uh, is just announced by jet brains where it is a kind of next generation ide and we are going to install this and we are going to understand what it is about and what are the features that you will get inside jet brains flit so without wasting any time let's deep dive into it so i'm going to click here to download and i'm going to choose this one for my m1 macbook pro you can choose this intel version as well or according to your choice of platform that you are using okay so i'm gonna click here and it will show me the pop-up to download for the very first time okay it's it's already downloading though and once you have it you just need to uh, click here install this and you just need to drag this thing over here if you are using mac or if you are using windows the process will remain the same as if you are use, installing other apps okay and hopefully this is done okay Stop. so yeah this is done already let me open it now okay no worries let me see here this one is my fleet box okay let's open this up close this thing eject this thing options allow and now i'm gonna select this license you can choose your theme i'm gonna choose this dark one and my preferred language would be english for now get started and here uh, you can see this fleet over here which is a new i'm gonna install it and it's gonna take time till then we are gonna go to the other tabs for projects and services so this is a common playground for all the extensions provided by jet brains all the ids that you use from jet brains so this is not a single click install uh, so that's the only different case apart from vs code uh, it is quite different approach to install the things though okay then once you have installed this you just need to click here and it's gonna open the preview of this split app for the very first time and here we go you just need to click here to confirm this thing and continue for next window and this is very first look of split which is very minimal and the current version that i'm using for the public preview is 1.9231 okay and i'm gonna open something over here by dragging new folder on the top of it so let me rename it let me make new folder as a demo and i'm gonna drag this folder let me see if it works yeah this is working like vs code now i'm not gonna compare with vs code because it's completely different and it's going to be paid in a while in future hopefully and uh, i'm gonna create very first basic html page so we can see how it works okay so uh, there is a smart mode is available which will analyze your code and it will provide the errors detections fixes and the messages and the code completion as well so i'm gonna enable this thing okay and now we can start writing code quickly like this so i'm not sure if uh i can get the suggestions now okay like this i'm getting it already now here i'm gonna write h1 tab let's say which is not working here there are extensions uh, that will be available in future for now they are working on it so hello I'm not sure the kind of shortcuts we can use here but I'm gonna use I'm uh, 
command shift f command shift f okay so for with through which you can open this uh searching tool where you can have tabs like go actions tools and text search okay the searching thing is very optimal and minimal over here and after that you can open uh you can go here on the top and you can see the other options as well over here where you can go to use this go to uh, so few of common things that you can use here like symbols files lines okay and you have shortcuts for that if you want to jump to uh, some line you can write like two and you can hit enter okay uh, okay like this two three four you can go there and uh, i heard few things about okay this icon is for uh, the same if you don't want to use shortcut it's a good thing that we can uh, click here directly and now this is uh, the git uh, if you are not aware about uh, how IntelliJ is using git so let me tell you guys this is the best feature that you will get in uh, IntelliJ and the the approach is very minimal and you can see all the commits over here all the history over here we don't have any history though but the uh, the tab that you can clearly see over here okay so unlike vs code uh this is better than vs code actually so uh, here one another thing in future this will be a distributed so collaboration is really very easy but uh, if we talk about vs code in vs code you also have a live share extension through which you can uh, write a pair programming at the same time okay so two cursors at one place and you just need to invite that person so he can edit over there and you can simultaneously add front and back end at the same time like the way okay so these are the features i'm familiar about and this one is for for docker it's still in uh, uh uh, it's it's we don't have that much of things here so let me start docker quickly so i can show you uh, what kind of docker things we have so it's gonna take time to start till then i'm gonna play around with this thing and i'm gonna click here on plus button we are gonna choose debug okay so you have you can open debug tab you can open files tab over here you can go to uh, terminal once again over here if you like this or you can click here to open the terminal over here so you can go uh, it's all your choice how you can manipulate this thing you want to open files over here it's completely fine or if you want to click here and open something here so this kind of approach we really like to work upon so and I'm, I'm really impressed already with this thing once i get used to it with the shortcuts definitely in future i'm uh, gonna use it okay so and uh, now i'm gonna go here once again to docker now you can clearly see this much of images i have and i can do push inspect delete or run things over here directly these are the containers that are running inside my system and here you will get your notifications okay so you can click here to mark all as view so it's gone already and inside settings you can go and you can make uh, general settings changes like zoom let's say i'm gonna zoom this thing default key map of intellij or default if you're familiar with whatever it may be and now if you you can see uh, this much of themes we have this is not that good but gray sync with mac os i would prefer to sync with mac os sometimes or dark purple uh, would be great as well now uh key map depends completely it's all up to you uh it should be extension available of code as well vs code hopefully show key combination when using the shortcuts it's a good thing if i'm using any shortcut like Control shift f so you can see here that i'm pressing Control shift f okay so it's a good thing font of course font size and lots of things we are familiar with uh, it already let me click here 
okay horizontal scroll bar no no why we will see the scroll bar always no i don't want to see this scroll bar so i'm gonna close this up rest of the things we are familiar about it already in demo we have auto save option you can uh like if you don't want it you can uh this like if we want you can select or deselect it's all up to you and this this is it i guess for this tutorial guys most of the things i have told you already and uh, for most of the languages support we have already so if you are if you are not familiar about it definitely uh you can go to the official site and you can see uh what are the possible extensions and what are the languages supported by this like kotlin uh other java and lots of other languages uh, that you can think of okay so yeah this is it i guess for this tutorial now we can stop i guess and you can click here browse documentation this is the last thing and here you can go through the things if you are not aware about it i have gone through it already okay languages java kotlin go python php javascript and c sharp oh trust in future <laughs> will be coming soon because rest is uh, really very becoming a popular so yeah common languages we have already so it's it's good though in future we'll be having other other languages as well remote uh, development we are familiar with it already so thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here please let me know inside comment box what you want from my side definitely i'll make it for you and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already smash that like button and you can use this thanks button as well in order to contribute even one dollar is enough to grow our channel Ta -ta, bye bye